All right. Whew. For you, you northern truck guys, or God, even some of you uh, middle of the line guys, um, this is a friction fit hub and rotor. So if you get any kind of crap in there, like a little bit of rust, yeah, it's a pain to get off. Uh, lots of WD-40 and lots of firepower. Oh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Now it's time to get the old ball joints out and we're gonna be putting in these bad boys. Uh, tip, put them in the freezer for a little while. It'll help. Whew. Well, I did miss a step in the clips that I'm doing, but I tell you what, uh, the bottom one went in easy. The top one went in pretty easy, but I recommend doing them that the other way around. Put the top in first so you can flip the clamp. Makes it easier and you can use your ugga dugga and then do the bottom because it'll work the same way. You can use the ugga dugga this direction with room. But uh, other than that, these suckers went right in. I uh, had to make some small adjustments with the tools I have. But uh, so far so good. A breeze. I'm hoping they work as advertised. Getting there. Had to upgrade some tools. Uh, NICs. It's your best friend and your worst nightmare at the same time. My word. Um, forgot uh, a grease gun. So we're at a standstill for a moment. Uh, so bad, the compressor. The passenger side came out actually relatively easy knowing what I know. Um, <laughs> isn't that always the case? Uh, this cup seems to work the best. I think I have a power built kit. Uh, I rented from Advance. Uh, this cup, the pin uh, right on top, uh, apply pressure, and then just smack the heck out of the, the lower C and just keep repeating the process. You know, whack around the bottom, give her some ugga duggas, whack around the bottom, some more ugga duggas. That doesn't help, obviously, to have some, uh, some W up in here. Um, yeah, would knock that sucker the rest of the way out. We'll get the top. I know that one's going to be pretty easy. And uh, then back to assembly and hopefully have this thing done in the next two hours. All right. All right. And then really the easiest way to do the top is uh, put the pin right on the uh, jack screw. Use a tall enough cup and let her eat. And the side's in. No time at all. Uh, it's definitely easier to do the top first than the bottom because you can flip the the uh, jack screw inside the C-clamp and work through the bottom hole instead of fighting with the fender up there. So definitely the easiest way to go here. Huh, finally, side number two is done and back together. Now we just gotta throw on the wheel, torque it down, take it for a spin, and then uh, Put a few miles on them and then uh, check the torque on everything tomorrow.